This afternoon, a special homecoming at Jaeger Airport as two local nurses returned from New York City after spending almost a month there helping the fight against COVID-19. 13 News reporter Nikki Walters was there with their families for that long-awaited reunion. Uh, she's my hero and she's my baby girl. It has been more than three weeks since Tony Lester saw his daughter Shayna in person. She and her friend Norissa are both nurses and volunteered to go to New York City to work in intensive care units, caring for people with COVID-19. That is Shayna getting off the bus amid cheers from those grateful for the help. Back in West Virginia, Shayna's family was planning a surprise to welcome them home. She doesn't like to be in the spotlight at all. But you felt she deserved to be? Absolutely, she's my hero. They stood in the airport parking lot, you, holding signs when the two women walked through the door. Even their pets came to see them. <laughs> Unfortunately, still no hugs, at least for now. She got into nursing to help people and she felt called to do it. and. I'm going to support her no matter, no matter what she does. Their families had mixed emotions when they said they were making the trip. Prayer every day for to, to uh, for God to, to watch over and to all the people that are up there working. Uh, don't know that I've been any more worried or concerned in my life. But both women say they knew they were doing the right thing, like so many others who put their lives on the line to make sure other people had the chance to go home to their families as well. With all of the, the flooding of the nurses um, that came in, we were able to make a huge difference up there. In Charleston, I'm Nikki Walters, 13 News, working for you. And we certainly thank them for their service as well. Now, both women will have to quarantine for 14 days before they can return to work or go out in public. Well, many